Episode four of records I've released on vinyl. It's summer 2000 and I'm under pressure to make a follow up for everybody as the boy wonder. So we spent ages and ages coming up with ideas. I did various demos and they just weren't good enough. Anyway, we came upon an idea, me and my friend Ben, who was a great composer, by the way, came up with the idea of doing a cover version of Massive Attacks on Finished Sympathy. We did it, we put it together a demo, it just worked instantly. We thought, right, that's it, that's the one. So then we brought in the vocal talents of Angie Brown from Bizarre Inc. We went to a studio in London, brilliant studio, incredible place, um, recording the vocals, we got them down, we did countless mixes of it, and it basically just wasn't getting there, it wasn't getting there. The record label were getting frustrated, and I think at the very last minute they decided to pull it because they weren't confident in it. They told me it was a publishing issue, but in hindsight, I think it was a lie, um, and they just weren't bothered about releasing it. And I get it, you know, but um, I think at the time they just got cold feet. And here it is. <laughs> So, as you can imagine, it was a little bit on the hard side for a record of that classic stature. So, yeah, that was the Boy Wonder track, Unfinished Sympathy. It never got final release. Um, it got a remix done by Rob Searle, and this version never came out. It came out on White Label only, so that's that.